Hey everybody, this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home and I have to tell you, I had a huge, huge mishap today with the grocery haul. Raylene, I have no idea how you're always first, but hey girl. Um, <laughs> I had a huge mishap with today's grocery haul. Okay, so first of all, first of all, my grocery haul was already filmed, people. Already filmed, ready to be uploaded, ready to be taken care of, ready to show you guys. But I also had to film a couple of other things. I have been filming some things for our Thanksgiving marathon that we have coming up that I had told you guys about. So, oh, it's, it's been ugly. I'll show you what I was filming. Let me show you what I was filming first and then we'll get to the map. Here we have the stove and I'm gonna pull it out of the oven because I have right here, you guys can tell Trish to reload for me. This is what I made. Um, ignore the skin. <laughs> this stuff has been picked at. Um, but I roasted a chicken for our Thanksgiving marathon. And over here, underneath this, homemade gravy, guys. Homemade gravy. I'm going to have videos on both of those. They're already filmed and ready to go uh, for our Thanksgiving marathon. But back to me. Back to the grocery haul mishap. So I filmed the grocery haul. And as I was filming my chicken, I dropped the camera. Dropped my camera. My regular camera that I use for regular filming is dead. Dead, dead. Like never to return, dead. So, problem is, the problem is, I already threw away my receipts. I didn't even know what to do. I'd already put away all their groceries. It was like ready to go. And uh, so, so here's what I did. I still had the stuff on the board because I put it on the board every time and I have the numbers so you can look at. And I even had some craziness happen when I went shopping, which I will explain. So I'm going to go through the grocery haul live because I, I didn't, I didn't have the receipts and I didn't know what else to do. I was like, what in the world am I going to do? You guys are going to be waiting for the grocery haul. Who knows? But I'm gonna go over these numbers with you and talk a little bit about what we did because we had a whole craziness. Look at these separate things. Look, here's a separate Aldi thing. Here's a separate discount grocery thing. And then here's the total. So it's just, it was just a crazy time to do grocery shopping. I don't even know what happened. This particular week, nuts. But I am gonna show you what I got. It's sitting here on the table. I pulled it all out of the fridge and the freezer and the cabinet so you guys can take a peek at it. And we're gonna talk about numbers. So let me take you to the board here and we're gonna talk about what everything cost. Switch you around here. All right, so here's our total. Discount grocery 750-ish, we'll talk about that in a minute. Aldi, 28.30. Ingles, $9.07, total of 44. Guys, did I not say, okay, we're gonna do $43 and then I'm 44? We are gonna get on the ball with this whole budget thing. Like this this month, if you don't know, we're doing uh, no takeout November and um, we're just gonna get some discipline back in order. I think we've been just a little bit too easy with the, the money around here. So we're gonna get that right back on track. So anyway, this was what we had. And then here was the Aldi situation. So I this was my first receipt at Aldi. Well, they rang me up for something wrong. So I went back and they did a return receipt, so I had a return receipt, and then they re-rang it, so I had a re-rang receipt, and it ended up me, me with, with me being having a credit of $1.41. So then I remembered that I needed something else, which I'll tell you about that in a second. That was $1.01. So I ended up having about 40 cents less, so it was $28.30 in total, right? Then I had lost my discount grocery receipt. So I went ahead and wrote everything that I got from the discount grocery on the board and estimated tax, overestimated it. And that's how we came up with this number. So still a little bit off, probably a little less, probably $44.40 really, but this is just an idea of what it really was this week. I don't know what happened, but it was just, I'm telling you, it was pure craziness. So look, here's the grocery haul. Let me get you the full view of it here. Here's what we bought. 
And I'm gonna start with my discount grocery store. This was my favorite deal of the day, guys. Do you see this? Do you guys buy this Bragg's apple cider organic vinegar with the mother? Have you guys bought that? Expires in February 2022. So here we go. Guess how much this was. Do you know how much it costs at a regular store? It was over $10 at a regular store. I looked it up. We actually got it for $3.99. $3.99. I was so super excited to find this, I could not even tell you. So we actually were out. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm in North Carolina, guys, if you're wondering. Here's my next purchase. They had a bag of minis. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving, so we got some treats to make. These were $1. $1. So uh, I just, it's already opened, and I've taken this out to show you what we did with it. We actually purchased this with our last grocery haul to take on our trip with us. And it was the simple all-natural granola that was just wildflower, honey, and oats. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it here. Give it a second. There it is. Okay, it was really just too plain and nobody wanted to eat it. So I opened it up. An awkward moment while I open a bag. Hang out with the bananas for a second. I opened it up and I threw in part of the chocolate chips. And now guess what? Everybody wants to eat it. So <laughs> that worked out really, really well. Apple cider vinegar, you know, some of them are cheaper, but this is the big bottle, guys. Like, the big bottle. This is 32 fluid ounces, a whole quart. Crazy. So that was just amazing. I was super excited. So anyway, $3.99 for that, a dollar for that. Bananas were also a good deal. They were four bunches for a dollar, so I got two bunches and spent 50 cents. <laughs> Ruby says I'm going to need you to return something so you'll be back to 43. It's unacceptable. I know, right? I should have. I really should have. Next time I'll do that. Um, I dye salt. I needed some more salt, 50 cents. And I got a thing of extra sharp cheddar, and that's a dollar. Uh, we, you know, we just take, Rick likes to just take a tablespoon of that a day. It's just for health. We, we enjoy it. And you can put it in a lot of things, but it's something good to have around. We use it for a lot of stuff, for the apple cider vinegar. Anyway, so all that was $6.99 at my discount grocery store. And then we went to Aldi. Well, do you see something we don't normally buy back here? That's right, we bought milk. This was actually the thing that they messed up the price on that I had to return. These were actually on sale, because you see the date is today's date, for 69 cents. Well, this one's already drank. <laughs> because once, once we have something we know it's going bad, we're going to use it. This one I might actually freeze. But 69 cents is a super good deal here. Now, I know some of you guys can get a gallon of milk really inexpensively because depending on where you live, there are some really great milk prices out there. Not so here. The lowest price we get for a gallon is like $2.69. I mean, it's, it's pretty high for milk, partially why we don't buy it. But 69 cents for a half gallon, really great deal. So I went ahead and picked a couple of them up. I, like I said, I think I'm going to freeze that one. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I got some au gratin potatoes because I know... We are going to have a lot of chicken and a lot of turkey coming up, and I'm planning on making some uh, au gratin pot pie. So I got a couple of those boxes, 79 cents each. I have a video on that if you want to look that up. I'll link it in a little bit. Um, but it, I, I love that au gratin pot pie, and I'm just dying to make it. Got me some more spinach. That was $1.49 at Aldi. This was actually what I had forgotten and went back in to pick up. Uh, the Aldi, our Aldi had three peppers for 99 cents. So after tax, it was a dollar and one cent. So I was just too great a deal to pass up. Got me three peppers. Here's my meat. And you know, I don't normally buy meat at Aldi. I really don't. But I do like to get their turkey ham. It's one of my favorites. And, you know, we've got some ham dishes I want to make coming up because it is the season, right? $5.31 for the ham. And it's the turkey ham. So everybody's happy. Um... I don't know if the discount grocery is non-taxable, to be honest with you. I'd have to look at my old um, <laughs> grocery hauls. If you guys felt like looking at it, you can check it out. It'll be on the receipts, but I don't have a receipt with me, so I can't tell you. And look at this right here. This is the carne piccata marinated beef. Now, I'm always on the lookout for these $3 off, $2 off things at Aldi. And people share in the Frugal Family Food Group all the time the amazing deals that they get with the dollars off. And I have never caught anything that was like a super great deal. Or I think I did one time, right? But I usually don't. 
this one was not like a, an amazing deal, but it was pretty good, and I thought it was a good opportunity to take advantage and try something different. But that was six dollars and seventy four cents, and then you take the three dollars off, and it was three dollars and seventy four cents. And I thought that was a pretty good deal to get some beef and try something different. So since it's no takeout in November, I'm trying to keep the family happy and interested. So we're going to be trying a new recipe with that, and I'm really excited to have it. But anyway, that was that for the meat. We got meat at Aldi. It's a rarity. Um, I also got some turkey bacon. Um, what do I do with the turkey ham? I do a lot of things. I make frittata with it. <laughs> I make um, ham and potato soup. Pretty much anything you would make with a regular ham. The great thing about it is boneless and you can just chop it up into little tiny pieces and it lasts forever. Honestly, it's so good. Uh, sometimes we like to make like a grilled ham and cheese sandwich with it too. Anyway, turkey bacon, I'm using that for uh, Thanksgiving breakfast. I'm also using it for a salad for Thanksgiving. This was, I think, $1.69. Also $1.69 was the probiotic yogurt. I've got to have it. Um, because I'm still on antibiotics for the bronchitis that I had. And of course, you know me and antibiotics. We are not friends. So I had to get this. It was $1.69. And then cream cheese for Brianna's bagels. And I believe that was 89 cents. Okay, Swiss cheese, $1.79. And mozzarella cheese, $1.79. Wait till you see how much. I'm going to show you how much cheese I have in my fridge. I, it's ridiculous. Like, I've really got to stop buying cheese. <laughs> Last couple of things I bought at Aldi, I got 99 cents for the onions, and I got me a spaghetti squash. Now I'm a little bit, I'm a little bitter about the whole spaghetti squash situation, okay? Because it said on the sign that they were 49 cents, and it was by another squash that was so many cents a pound, and another one that was just plain 49 cents. This one was labeled 49 cents, and I thought. Okay, well, it's labeled 49 cents, not 49 cents a pound. So if it's just 49 cents for a spaghetti squash, I'm going to grab that up and we'll just have some spaghetti squash as a side dish this week. It's going to be great. Well, it wasn't. It was 49 cents a pound. So I ended up paying $2 for it, which, okay, it's not the most expensive thing, but I'm a little bit bothered. Hey, Pooh Bear. I'm a little bothered that I overspent on that. But... That would have been my dollar ruby ranch. Like, that would have totally taken me under. But I, I could have argued it. But I felt bad because I already had argued with him. And not really argued because, I mean, I was pleasant. But, you know, I just, you know how you're embarrassed when you want to, like, say, I'm sorry, but my receipt was wrong. And then they had to do the correction with this. And then I went back and got the peppers. So then when I looked at this, I was like, I'm not going back in again. So I just sucked up the dollar. That's just how it goes. So then I went to Ingalls. Ingles and I got two things. I got a roast. Okay, I'm excited to make myself a, um, oh, what is that thing? Mississippi roast. I want to make one of those. Anyway, this roast was $5.66. And uh, it happened to you with butternut squash. It's just so frustrating when that happens. And somebody's phone is going off behind me. Okay, then we have these chicken thighs and we got these for $3.23. So this was a really great deal, and I just wanted to get some more meat in the house just to just have. So anyway, all of this, $44, our weekly grocery haul. I'm going to show you the cheese that I have. Now look, before I show you things around here, remember we've been out of town, and I've been cooking all day, so the house is not really <laughs> perfectly clean or anything. Real life, real life when you get a live event. So here we go. This little bit of dishes from cooking, it's really not that bad. But when you look at my fridge, I'm just going to feel sad for a minute. But look, I got three more blocks of cheese. Okay, is it, is it the biggest amount of cheese you ever saw in your life? No. But it's like, look at all this cheese. How much cheese does one family need? Really? Like, I'm going to have to make some cheesy dishes. So if you've got some cheesy dish ideas, let me know because I've got to use all this stuff up. It's ridiculous. I'm definitely going to be making some taco -y stuff. I'll switch you around. Yay, you got the beautiful double chin shot. Um, anyway, yeah, cheese does freeze while you're right. Um, I'm going to show you, oh my word, I don't know if I want to show you the cabinet. It's just, it's just sloppy, guys. Maybe I won't show you. But I do have, I'll show you this, I still have all of these that I'd gotten, right? And uh, so we're going to, we're probably going to have some taco -y things and just try to, I don't know, I still have some gluten-free pasta. What kind of cheese? We have two things of extra sharp cheddar, a thing of mild cheddar, 
sorry again, you're getting under shot, forgive me. Um, <laughs> two extra sharp cheddar, one mild cheddar, one mozzarella, one Swiss and one pepper jack. So tons of cheese, tons of cheese. It's just cheese heaven right here. Everybody is excited about the spaghetti squash. I don't have any videos on the spaghetti squash right now. Um, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know about making one. I'm thinking about making like a baked spaghetti. You know, have you seen those bakes on uh, Pinterest? I probably could do it with the cheese, right? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I think that, um, wow, you guys are commenting so fast. I can't even keep up with everything. Thanks for the ideas on the cheese. <laughs> I guess everybody loves cheese and they just want to go crazy with the cheese. But anyway, so that's that. That's the grocery haul, everybody. I am sorry that it just happened with all the craziness with the camera breaking and the receipts being gone. It's just, it's a challenge. I don't know. I'm So pretty much from here on out, because I don't have the opportunity at the moment to buy a whole other camera. So I'm just going to be using my cell phone. I hope you guys will understand that. Uh, I, they don't all have to be live, but I'm going to be it's just gonna be cell phone videos. But you know what, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a secret because I know a lot of YouTubers, a lot of them use their cell phones. A lot of them do. So, mm. we do have a fancier camera, but um, Ricky uses it for school and if I break down, I will cry. <laughs> so, everyone's really excited about the um, spaghetti squash. I will see what I can do about making a video. I have a lot of videos to make because we're getting ready for the frugal family food. Um, marathon. I made, like I said, I made the chicken, I made the gravy. I'm making a salad. Rick's making some appetizers. Uh, we're making, I'm making a Dutch apple pie. I'm going to do freezer meal to prepare for, um, Thanksgiving next week. And guess who else is making a video? Guess who's coming up tomorrow on Frugal Family Food? Do you guys know? It's Kimmy from She's in Her Apron. Okay. Can you believe that? I was like in awe that she agreed to take part with us. I was like, Kimmy said yes. And Tanji and I were like doing a little dance in our houses. So we were like, Kimmy's going to do it. Yay. Um, so Kimmy is going to do a make ahead meal. She's going to have her make ahead green bean casserole that she freezes in advance for um, Thanksgiving. So if you guys are looking to make some things in advance for Thanksgiving, you can be ready to check that out tomorrow. And then next week, Tangi is going to be doing uh, her video on, she's doing the Pioneer Woman's Rolls and making those ahead for Thanksgiving. I have not tried those, but I have heard from Tangi that they're like amazing. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, I'm deciding between two things because I, I kind of wanna make um, the make ahead apple pie filling because normally every year I make pie filling in advance and I make a bunch of it at one time and then I have it for the whole winter and then, and, you know, it lasts until the next apple season. <laughs> but um, I kind of want to do mashed potatoes in advance too. So, uh, sorry. So I'm just not sure which one. I might do both. I might do both. But I'm super excited because we're just trying to get ourselves prepared in advance for Thanksgiving so none of us are stressed. We don't want you to be stressed. We don't want to be stressed. We want to have beautiful Thanksgiving without the stress. And that is why we're putting these videos out there and we also have the marathon. If you have to make something and you're not sure how to make it, we're going to show you how to make it. Everybody's sharing their best recipes. A lot of the folks that are commenting here, they're going to be in it. Farmer Mima, she is making, I'm going to say it the right way here. She's making, um, <laughs> she said do the pie filling. She is making um, sausage, cranberry, dressing. There's, so, there's something else in there. She's going to tell you the right name. So she's making that. And then Freedom Acres is Amanda. She is going to be making pumpkin pie with a gluten-free crust. Oh, and Farmer Meemaw, Keto Wife Life, she is doing her dressing. She's doing a keto version because she's keto and a non-keto version. So, And there's going to be a vegan dish for every single day. Because all five days we're doing the, uh, we're doing appetizer, main dish, um, comfort sides, 
vegetable sides, and then desserts. So you're gonna get everything that you need for Thanksgiving all during that week. We're gonna have giveaways. Like, I can't even tell you the giveaways. We're giving away a roasting pan, we have serving dishes, we have all the accessories like meat thermometer, everything that you need for your Thanksgiving. Oh, she's saying sausage, apple, and cranberry dressing. There you go. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> so, um, so everything that you need for Thanksgiving, we're gonna be giving that away during the week if you're watching the video. So keep an eye out for that and you're gonna be all prepared for Thanksgiving and it's gonna be a lot of fun and hang out with us. So anyway, I think that's everything. Um, we are going to, let's see, I'm just blocking the trolls, guys, just blocking the trolls. Um, <laughs> we're gonna finish up here. I have to make, um, let's see, I have my chicken, I have my gravy, I gotta make some mashed potatoes right now. I'm gonna make a bunch of them. And um, some kind of vegetable. I think we're gonna do some broccoli. And we're gonna get ready to have our dinner. <laughs> so. Uh, you guys just keep an eye out and we'll be sharing more information about the Frugal Family Food pre-Thanksgiving marathon. By the way, somebody asked about the dates of the Thanksgiving marathon. It is November 13th through 17th. It's Monday through Friday, five days, and we're going to be getting all that out to you. So just keep an eye out. Like I said, more information coming. But in the meantime, tomorrow, Kimmy, she's in her apron. She's got it all for you. So anyway... That's it for the grocery haul for today. You guys have a wonderful night. I apologize for the live video. It's the first time this has ever happened and I hope it never happens again. I hope I never break another camera. So anyway, no, we haven't posted the dates in the Frugal Family Food Group yet, but it's coming, it's coming. We're still trying to get all the details together, but it's gonna be out to you as soon as we have everything 100% together. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a great night and we'll see you next time. Bye.